Hey there guys, excuse the dressing gown, it is freezing today. Today we'll be painting Sir William the Peacemaker from the Reaper Bones Miniatures line to tabletop standard using the following paints. Bone steel, linen white, pure black, fair shadow, golden yellow, brilliant red, woodland brown and shadowed stone. First thing we shall do is open the model up. Find yourself an old desk in some suitable clothes. We need to clean the casting lines off with a sharp knife. Just scrape it along the model with the back of the blade. Be very careful and make sure you always cut away from yourself. Finish this by smoothing the scrapes out with a file. Stage 1 of painting is the base coats. It's important to not use any spray primers with Reaper Bones models as the plastic can react badly to the spray. I've undercoated this model with pure black first and given it a coat of honed steel on top with my airbrush, but you can easily do this stage by hand. It's important to cover the whole model for reasons that will become apparent later. So now we just need to give his cobblestone base a coat of shadowed stone. Make sure you give it a good shake beforehand as these paints can separate out. Next, use woodland brown and paint all of the leather pouches and scabbards. You might need more than one coat to get an even coverage at this stage, but this is normal. There we see all the leather on the model has been painted. Next we need to paint his face with fair shadow. Again you may need two coats at this stage. Next step we take pure black and paint the alternating squares around the chickens on his shield using the raised detail here and the natural flow of the paint to our advantage. After this, we should carefully paint his chickens with shadowed stone. Next we take some brilliant red and paint the lower square on his shield. This is why we base coated the model in silver, as these bright paints go over silver easier than over black. You may still need multiple thin coats though. While we're waiting for that to dry, also paint the shield emblem on his cross guard in brilliant red. Finally, for this stage, we'll use golden yellow to paint the remaining square on his shield. Again, several thin coats may be needed here. So that's all the base coats done, now we need to move on to stage 2 which is the washes. Firstly take some pure black and put a tiny bit on your palette. Water it down to give it the consistency of skim milk and add a little dab of dish soap to break the surface tension. Wash this over the cobblestones on his base, allowing it to flow naturally into the recesses. Use this same mixture to paint the joints in his armour to give it a little bit of shadow. Next we need to take some woodland brown and a small amount of pure black. Water this mixture down on your palette and wash this over the leather areas of the model. After this take some woodland brown and mix it 50-50 with fair shadow. Water this down 
and wash this over his face. Now we move on to the layers. Take shadowed stone and paint each individual cobblestone on his base, leaving the black wash in the recesses. Layer over his leather with woodland brown again, making sure to avoid the shadowed areas where the wash is settled. Finally, for the layers stage, you'll take some fair shadow. Just use this to paint the raised areas on his face, like his nose and cheeks. The last stage is the highlights. First we need to take some brilliant red and some golden yellow. Mix them together 50-50 to create a nice bright orange colour. Paint a thin line with a steady hand down the edges of the red square on his shield. We will next mirror this by mixing golden yellow with linen white and painting a thin line down the edges of the yellow square. Then, take linen white and mix it with fair shadow. Paint the highest areas of his face with this mix, like the tip of his nose and chin. Finally, for the highlight stage, take woodland brown and mix it into the flesh mix you've just made. Use this to paint the edges of the leather surfaces to make them look old and frayed. Lastly, we need to do some finishing touches. Just use some linen white to paint his teeth and eyes with a black dot for the pupil. Paint the rim of his base grey, and we're done. So that's Sir William the Peacemaker painted to tabletop standard in very little time with only eight colours. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out our other videos. See you next time.